Sir Linden? What are you doing? Ah, Jade, hello. I was just making some pastries with thunder magic. I prefer them to be a bit thunder cooked. Ah, Mavier, do you have a moment? I'd like your help with an experiment. Sir Linden, of course. I will help however I can. I need you to take this ear of corn and throw it up into the air. What sort of experiment is this? I'm going to blast the corn with L thunder and make it explode. By my calculations, this will cause its kernels to pop evenly, making for an immaculate snack. This seems ill thought out. Well, you know what they say. No risk, no reward, no snack time. I suppose the most likely risk is that you might pop instead, and not evenly at that. Then I must decline. What? Oh, come now. Haven't you learned that you should always help your elders? Have you not learned to never cast El Thunder near other people outside of battle? <laughs> you argue like an elder yourself. I am more than happy to help with any and all experiments. However, I will not risk my life for corn. My apologies, Sir Linden. Oh, very well. I suppose snack time is postponed. Sir Linden, you dropped something. Oh, how clumsy of me. Thank you, Mavir. This is the likeness of a young woman. She is quite beautiful. Ah, I heartily agree. This is a drawing of my late wife. How I wish I could see her smile once more, taste her cooking again. It hurts to see you sad. If there is anything I can do... Very poor choice of words. Now, take this corn and hurl it skyward. What? Not this again. Oh, but my dear late wife loved corn, you see? She would want us to celebrate her this way. Now then, whenever you're ready, I'm standing by to blast. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. I probably... No, almost definitely won't miss. No. Goodbye, Sir Linden. Mavir? Mavir, wait! You still have my corn! Are you ready to begin, Divine One? I think so, Linden, but I do want to double-check one last thing. This experiment will somehow result in making people's lives easier and happier, right? Absolutely, Divine One. What I learned by examining you is certain to lead to a new discovery or three. I anticipate very interesting results relating to quality sleep. Quality sleep? You dozed for 1,000 years, after all. It's fair to say no one has ever slept more soundly than you. Maybe we'll find out why. Do you really think that's likely? I most certainly do. This could be a godsend for those who struggle with insomnia. I hadn't thought of that. All right, sure. I'd love to help with your experiment. I greatly appreciate it, Divine One. The first step is to cast thunder on you a few times to see how your body reacts. You'll grow numb to the pain soon enough, but your hair may not survive the experience. You know, I've changed my mind. Sorry, but you'll have to find another test subject. Having memories you enjoy looking back on is proof of a life well lived. My own life knows more regrets than happiness. Ah, but you are now free to carve out a new life. One more fulfilling than my own, perhaps. Hmm. Thank you for the kind words, Sir Linden. Think nothing of it. Now, do you find yourself in the mood for experimental snacking science? I should have known. You speak of regrets? Never tasting El Thunder popcorn would be most regrettable indeed. Ah. <sighs> It is my understanding that I have a fulfilling life ahead. So be true with your aim. Huzzah! Let the experiment begin!